All right, welcome back. We are on another video where I'm testing something to find out what the limit is of a thing. Uh, this one's storage. So I call this Big Red because it kind of looks like a, a big stick of bubble gum in its silver wrapper and all that. I, I don't know. I, sue me. I'm, eh. uh, so I didn't actually hit the cap. Um, I hit the module cap. So if we look at this... We're going to see that I hit 203,112 uh, with Sam. So that's the, that's what you get with maxed out skills. Now with Samco, it had, by the way, I found that out and we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, it gets up to 223,000. I can't get any more on this because it won't let me put any more on this. I'm at the module cap. So, shortly before I hit the module cap, I actually needed one more uh, landing gear. So I'm like within one or two of these big block of storage of maximum landing gear also. So it's, it's a, a very close um, relation currently between the two. So let's take a look here. It's absolutely awful for stats except for the big one uh 18 light year up i'm surprised it even still has that uh we'll talk about that here in a second too um the reactor is basically i i honestly could go down and reactor but the weight isn't very much because all you're doing is maxing out your engine and your grav drive and nothing else um this is again uh the idea was you need to move your entire base in one shot so what I found out about the jump range so now normally you go into space here and I'm gonna jump to whatever I'm gonna jump over here to Seoul and I want to go to Nova because man I need some more of those landing gear and I would I can't currently because I have contraband but I would click on this and uh, contraband, blah, blah, blah. And it would say land. It doesn't say set uh, course two. It just says land. Now, unfortunately, what I found out with the 18 light years is it does stop you from going places. If you can look, I'll scoot this back over here. I can only get to this one over here. That's as far as I can reach because of the 18 light years. I have a 650 tank. I tried a 210 tank and a 650. That made no difference, even with Sarah. So it does matter even when you are just jumping from base to base and without flying into space, you're, quote, fast traveling. The light year range does still matter. So I would have, if I was going here, I'd have to make two jumps. I'd make a jump to that place. And you'd want to have a location already found beforehand, or it will set course. If it sets course, it puts you in space. And if you get attacked, you're effed in this ship. And then I, you would go to there. So, in this, I'm just going to show you kind of a, just a real quick see. Uh, we're not going to do a full build video, but I'm going to break it down and show you how much of each part there is, because there's not very many parts. Now, whether or not you use these because they are three mass versus these that are four mass, it doesn't make enough difference because these are 312. You're only saving 10 weight. These cannot be placed side by side unless you glitch them because they're too thick. And so uh, at the maximum range, because I can't put another one in front here or I go over the max range, you can only have five on either side. Now, I did do... I started, actually, with this real crazy build where I had them on a side and then went this direction, then had them here and here, then went this direction, did the same. It was like a big... For those of you who have driven stick, it was like that the three lines with the line in the middle where you have your six speed in reverse. That was what it looked like. But it doesn't matter because these are the same thrust. So, okay, fine. You can save just a tiny bit of weight. It's not enough weight. 
if I if I wasn't a mo module limit and I tried to add one more of these, it would make me add one more landing gear. So I'm I'm at as close to the maximum relationship between or correlation between landing gear and the weight it can hold in just boxes of cargo. So 129,000 bear. That is what you would get if you had no skills and you did not have Samco. And then I'll walk inside here in a second. I only have a single crappy engine. Doesn't matter because this is a fast travel ship, but you have to have an engine. This is the lightest engine in the game. There are two or three different versions. And this one has the most engine thrust and maneuvering thrust of those that have weigh 85. And then I chose the lightest one mass uh, docker, the lightest one mass uh, landing bay. Inside here, there's a two by one, and this four mass cockpit is the lightest cockpit. So everything else I have, I also have. Oh, we got there. I also have your. I honestly don't need this big of a reactor, but. It only weighs 116. Even if I, you know, did did that whole pattern again, and took this down to whatever class C was just barely enough to max out. So whatever, 24 uh, minus one for the engine, so 23. So I would only need a 23 power, and still it it wouldn't matter. It, I couldn't save enough weight. I did originally have the smaller version of this to save weight, the 210. Uh, but again, it's not enough weight, and you have to have the 50 for the grab drive. There's no other way, and even with the 50, I'm still only at 18. So let's take a look inside real quick. So you saw that was 129, 128, 960 or something. <clears throat> and at current, it is 203, 112. Hello, and then we will show you what Samco adds with his payload two star. I picked up something you might be interested in. Why, thank oh, you, sir. Oh, everybody's going to talk all at once. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. So now let's go back into this. And now we're at 223,423. So Samco's payload of two. Let's go into crew here. I went too far. There he is. This payload's two star, that gives you exactly 10%. So is it 5% per level, and do the others do the same? I'm not positive on that. But I can say that we are getting 10% exactly bonus cargo hold by having Sam in your thing. Plus, in your piloting, obviously, you're getting the green power bubble, so one free power for your engines and you're getting faster engine top speed? High, higher top speed, I believe. I don't think it's acceleration. I think it's top speed. Is it 20% because it's four stars? I don't know. Um, I don't think they all add up quite the same. For example, why is... Uh, okay. Sam's piloting a four. It actually only takes three. Why is that giving us one free... Uh, power bubble when Andromeda, where are you at? Her and Neutronic Fusion one star, or Vasco and Neutronic Fusion one star gives you one free power bubble. So you get one free power bubble with one, but for shield because uh, Vasco has two shield, but he does not give you one free power bubble for shield. It requires Omari to have three. Because any of that makes perfect sense, right? Bethesda, I, I, I've stopped asking too many questions <laughs> for a long time now. Anyways, uh, or Particle Beam for Mar Marika, because I don't have um, Barrett. I don't have Barrett anymore. Is it Barrett? Yeah, right? Man, now I can't remember. It's been a minute since I've had him. Uh, since I don't have him, he has three stars, I think, for particle beams. Um, I don't even remember if he gave a bonus to it, and she doesn't appear to. I've had her on or had her off, and it didn't appear to. So, uh, I will be back with you in just a moment. I'll have it tore down, and I'll tell you how many physical number of pieces it requires, and then 
if you want to make something like this, you can kind of cobble it together in a design that you like better than my giant space brick. Hey, space brick, there you go. Space Buick, space brick. Haha. <laughs> Alright, be right back with you. Alright, so now I have it all tore down. And you can see here, there are 87 of the Galleon S204s. These have, have the most cargo space, cargo mass, um, volume for the equivalent of mass. Uh, if I remember the document I saw once, this these are... They're still not 100% um, efficiency for mass to cargo, but they're as close as any of the units get. So, nice there. You need 35 total landing gear for all of that weight. They have to be the four thrust. It doesn't really matter how creative you get in mixing and maxing, uh, matching. You can do change these to the skinnier versions. As long as it's four thrust, use whatever you want. But 35 of them. This won't work with 34. If I took one of these out, let's see right now, I'm at, everything's fine except for, I'm, I'm too high because I'm 10 high here and I have unattached. If I do this, now I have three errors. Uh, too few landing gear. So it requires 35 four thrust landing gear. So you will need a 50 uh, grav jump thrust. Doesn't matter which one you get, I just chose the lightest of the three. And... You will need at least 23 technically power. Um, it doesn't really matter when you're fast traveling, but whatever. It's, yeah, that's what it is. Uh, so the one individual engine, and I picked the lightest one. I don't think it matters that that much. Like I said, the relationship or the ratio is very close. In that if I put another that weighs 312, I would need one more landing gear. But I'm obviously capped on 130 modules. I did add all this up. It's 130. And so I don't think it would matter too much if you went to like a... I don't know. One that weighs like 200 or something like that. That gives you a lot more. But you're still going to move at the speed of smell. So it doesn't really matter. And then as far as jump fuel. I Like I said, I tried it with a 210. The, the four balls that come in a size like this. They're flat. I mean, they're not really flat. There's four balls inside of, like, a cage. That it has this and it has snap points all around. Um, I had the same distance because it was going off of the 18 light years, not off of my fuel. But that's because I have Sarah. I also have the skill maxed out to reduce my fuel cost. That's probably why, so take that with a grain of salt. And then my ship is about as minimum as you can get. Uh, with this configuration, I... Oh, sorry. With the lightest weight cockpit I had to use this one which meant I had to go into a unit from the front so I had to dock like that which means I have to somehow get into this but I also have to have a docker that's on the bottom and to get these and have all one weight I ended up with this 8 mass whoop de doo it's you know like I said, I, I put 10 of these to save literally 10 mass. But they're the same thing. It it kind of looks neat having something different than just a solid brick with these all at the bottom. Having these on site kind of looks cool. But in any case, this is about the smallest ship you're going to get. You saw that I only have three crew. It's awful. Um, but it serves its purpose. The, the purpose of this ship... <clears throat> is to move the whole thing, but it was also to find out what are the limits. Unfortunately, I couldn't figure out what the limits would be because I hit cap of the modules. But 128, I'll put the numbers down in the description for this is base. That's no skills, no SAM. Then I'll put the amount it is if I cancel. The amount you get right here, 203.12, that is with your skill maxed out, and I'll show you that in a second. And then the last one with Samco. So if I get out of this, I go into P, and go to Tech, yeah, Payloads, right here. So rank 4 Payloads, I get plus 50% additional Payload. Um, I think 
there are a couple magazines out there that give you like 1% more or something like that. Don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% positive. So all that amount and then with Samco, add 10% more to that. So there you go. There are the limits for uh, what's the biggest cargo you can get to. I'd like to see if someone's outside of glitching, outside of mods. This is vanilla. I didn't glitch anything on this ship. I have no mods installed, so obviously I'm stuck bound by the 130 cap. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching my big red or space brick. I think space brick makes better sense. All right. Thanks for watching.